So I'm bringing this vacuum in here because my sewing room is a hot mess. The floor is just full of fabric scraps and thread everywhere. So I need to vacuum for sure before I get started on my next project. So I want to share with you some fabric that I purchased for my next project, which is going to be Simplicity 9546. And I want to make view B. And the top has ruffles on the sleeve and they are gathered on and then it has a collar. I believe there are gathers around the collar. And then on the front, on piece number three, which is the yoke front, there are tucks. And I folded the fabric to kind of see how the tucks are supposed to go. And I believe these tucks are called spaced tucks. So I've never done spaced tucks before. So this will be interesting to see how that goes. I cut out all of the pieces. I have them all here. And now I need to wash my fabric and then get ready to cut my fabric out and get started. So the fabric that I purchased is this rayon fabric and it has stripes in it like really small stripes and I like it rayon does tend to shift and move when you're sewing it sometimes so I, what I like to do is spray it with spray starch to kind of stiffen the fabric up and that helps you know everything sew together a little bit easier does this garment look familiar if this garment looks familiar, it's because it used to be a dress and I shared a video of me wearing it to a fair last summer. But I have decided to just shorten it and turn it into a top. And I feel like I will get more wear out of the top than I was getting out of the dress. But I do want to make another sweatshirt dress at some point. But in the meanwhile, this is the top that I'm wearing and I will put the name of the pattern on the screen. So I have been trying to update my sewing room and kind of decorate it and things and I want to share with you a couple products that I bought that I plan to add to my sewing room. I just need my husband to put them together for me and then I'm going to figure out where they're going to go. So let me share them with you. I bought this mirror which is really cute because it lights up this little gray area right here lights up and it has different modes where you can make it bright or dim. So I really like that. And then I have this here, which is actually a white bench. I know you can't see it, but it's a white bench. It's really cute. It's small and has a little pillow on top. And then this is a poster that I received over a year ago. And I finally took it to get it framed. I just took it to Hobby Lobby and got it framed. So these things I will be adding to my sewing room at some point. And I'll be so happy to get them out of this hallway. So I've started sewing. I did step number one, which was putting the basting stitches along the front of the top. I actually did three rows of basting stitches in this. And now I am on step number three. I already did step number two here. And this is step number three. So I just wanted to show how this is done. And this is the finished look after you fold everything in. But let me show you how I got to that. So I'm using the other piece, which is the same. And I already folded this one. I just need to do this one now. So you're going to be working on the right side of the fabric. And you're going to fold this inside. And what you're doing to make the tuck is you're matching these tuck lines. This line and this line need to match and I usually put like a little notch here on the ends and then I'll match those up at the bottom and then I'll match them up also at the top 
I'll do it better, but I just want to show you here the concept. And then once you have that matched up, then you're just going to sew down this line here. So all the folding will look like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and sew down this line to create the tuck. And then I will continue to do the same thing for each tuck. Just fold the lines together and then sew down here. And then when you finish, you should have something that looks like this. So all the tucks are sewn in. There are three of them, one, two, and three. And this one was done like this, but what I did was folded it over. And then you're going to press everything away from the center. This is the center. So you will just press everything that way. And I will go ahead and do the same thing to this side. These kind of feel like I'm doing darts because I'm going through one side and making sure I come through the red line on the other side. And then I'm making sure the lines match up. And then I will go ahead and stitch everything down. And be done with these tucks. So I have them all pinned in and I'm just gonna, could you see? I don't know if you were able to see. So I have them all pinned in. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, sew everything down, fold it over, press it back. And then I believe you're going to base the edge. So after looking at the directions, you do put some stitches across the neckline area, but those aren't the basting stitches. The basting stitches are going to be done down here to hold the tucks down. And I did press the tucks away from the center. And so now I will go ahead and do the stitching that is called for at the neckline and do the basting that's called for down here at the bottom. And then I removed the basting stitches that were done on the side here that you had to do in step number two. I am on step number six. So I pulled the gathering stitches that were placed in the front of the top and I attached the yoke front to the front and I just basted the seams together and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the permanent stitches. I have just basted on the ruffle collar and the pattern calls for ribbon to go around the collar and also around the front here and also in the back but I chose to leave ribbon off all I have to do now is sew up the sides and then put on the sleeves and then I should be done actually sitting in my closet because I am on my way to go out shopping. I'm about to change clothes and get ready, but I wanted to leave you with a love share of a product that I learned about recently. So you know how we have smart cars and smartphones and a whole bunch of other type of smart gadgets. I recently learned about smart jewelry. So there are keychains and necklaces and bracelets and you can actually wear these garments. And if you are in an emergency and you don't have your phone handy and you need to reach out to someone, you can do it through your smart jewelry. I thought that that was so cool and the jewelry is actually cute. So I will share a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out.